Hello again, YouTube. Ryan here. So, I didn't actually think I was going to do two videos today, but something happened that has happened before, and I have actually known this to be an incredibly shitty issue on a lot of these engines. <laughs> but, they tend to clog on the return line to the coolant bubble. And the problem that that, 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 that generates is that the coolant will no longer circulate through the system fully. Now that's a problem because it'll cause overheating issues, it'll cause backflow issues, like it'll cause a lot of issues. Now I did clog unclog this before and kind of surprised it's doing it again but it is a fairly common problem and as long as you have the right tools it's actually not that difficult to do. So what I'm looking at doing is I'm going to use a Dremel and a drill bit and I'm going to unclog my engine. Now this is a really common problem for all 2 liters, um, doesn't matter if it's a 90s, like, like 1990 2 liter all the way up to 1999. They all have this problem and the higher the mileage the more common it's going to be. So this is the second time within a year that I've had to unclog this and this could, this could have been because I didn't drain it properly, I didn't clean it right the first time or I didn't get all of it or you know maybe a chunk of garbage that's inside of the engine somewhere came dislodged with the flushes I was doing and slowly navigated its way up and and finally caused a clog but it's it's pretty easy to do so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a Dremel now you don't have to have this attachment that I have but it makes life so much easier because what you're doing is actually down inside of here and you're gonna stick the drill bit into this little this little peacock right here and basically if you get it in there just right just like that, just like that you'll notice that it kinda doesn't really do a whole lot so with mine I think I, I, th I think I actually just pushed whatever it was out of the way but um as I was trying to fill it fill my car. I wasn't getting water out of my return line and that, you know, started to slowly overheat the car. So, I'm going to add some water. I'm going to show you guys a, another, I'm, I'm going I'm to do a throwback to another video that I've done before on my, my coolant flush. Oh, never mind. Okay. So we're going to do it a different way. I, I totally forgot that I had the hose hooked up and everything so I can't fill it up the way I wanted to. So, what are you going to do? You're gonna put your hose back on somehow. Yeah, get it up in there. Just like that. Alright, so that's still gonna work. Let me go ahead and make sure with the slightly larger drill bit right there. It's so a 15 30 seconds is the biggest size that I could fit into this hole. And now we're gonna push it in and boom. There's supposed to be an open chasm behind here. So what I must have done the first time that I did this is I must have cleared out enough of the clog to let it flow for what it was, but since I've disrupted the system and pulled stuff out of it, it's not wanting to go back together just right. So what I'm going to What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this here hammer and I'm just lightly going to tap on that drill bit. Now, it's going to be a pain in the ass, so, you know, do it the best, best possible way you can. Well, that's not working out very well. And there's definitely something in there. Now, there's nothing inside of the hole that you actually have to worry about hurting. So, you know, it's kind of just a matter of get it in there as best you can. And when you feel the release of the pressure like now I've wedged this joker in here so now I'm gonna have fun trying to get it back out but that's pretty much what I'm doing so I'm just working this ah, alright so now that we've gotten in there what we can do is we can go ahead and try to fill this thing back up with water and hope that we got it and if we didn't get it it's not a big deal you know it's not hard to get here it's a little tight so it's kind of hard to get a full-size drill in there or something but you notice right down here 
I'm sorry for the lighting. I know the lighting's terrible. Again, I'm using my phone, so it is what it is. But put that back on there like that. So that way you can see the end of the hose. Come back to the car. Start the car back up. And again, apologies, because this might be louder than I think it is. And if it is, I, you know, I'm sorry. But you take your hose and you fill her on up with water. That's pretty much what you do. And you'll notice after a while it'll just kind of stop accepting water. Just like it's supposed to because it's mostly full. Being a little slow is not very, not a very bad thing to do. Um, you know, you definitely want to pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, look, now we got some steam coming out. You see, now it's starting to spit all that nasty bit out. Now we're getting a little bit of water. So we hold this up and just stick it over the hole like this. Or you can slide it back on. You can slide it back on. That'll be fine. But now you see how it's doing this number. All that nasty brown stuff's finally coming out. So once the thermostat opens and it's doing its, its thing, and again, you know, you see I'm not getting much water out of here. It's mostly just a lot of steam, and that's kind of that's kind of bad. So that means something something's not right. Like something's not right at all. But basically, that's what you do. You go for that little drain cock down there. You do what you can. You fit in what you can, and you, and and you do the best you can with what you've got. You know, I don't do anything with with lots of tools. You know, I don't really use power tools so it kind of is what it is but you know that that particular spot is going to cause you immense problems like it'll make the car overheat and the fan will never come on because the hot water is never going to reach the temperature sensor for it to get what it's going and and do what it's supposed to do so you know you have to be a little careful you have to pay attention you know make sure not to let the car overheat while you're doing this i put the thermostat in i disrupted the system and it's probably the fact that it's not flowing as heavily as it was before that's causing the, the clog to become an issue again. But hey, it's a car and I paid very little for it. So, you know, I don't mind tinkering with it here and there. It makes it a little fun. It gives me something to do. It gives me, I guess, a goal to achieve when I'm, you know, sitting at home not really doing anything. So, it, you know, it allows me to be productive. But, you know, <clears throat> that particular spot, it's on the same part of the head for every single car. It causes the same problem for every single car. Uh, you know, it's just it's just a pain in the ass. So, you know, best of luck to you. Um, if you have any specific questions, you can you can look me up on Instagram and contact me, or you can comment below. Um, my uh, Instagram is going to be tagged in the description below for you to be able to uh, to find me. And that, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope this video was in, enlightening informative um i hope it helps because man it took me a long time to figure out that that was the clog so best of luck to you all right have a good one bye bye